coming to the stage is the brown skin assassin shooting ever passing the prophet of the hardwood Del K. Berta. this is the real spiel everybody what a night in basketball man we've got a lot to discuss I'm not gonna keep you waiting I'm just gonna start going first thing first Kyrie Irving um, put out a statement yesterday um, and also apparently has given away half a million dollars to the Anti-Defamation League. The Anti-Defamation League is the, called the ADL, abbreviatedly, and is an uh, organization started in the 1930s to stop extremism against Jewish people. It has expanded to um, include uh, black people and other marginalized groups. And apparently is the go-to organization anytime anything is said negative about Jewish people. Well, apparently Kyrie Irving and the New Jersey Nets have partnered in giving a half a million dollars each to the Anti-Defamation League after Kyrie Irving has put out a statement um, talking about, you know, how, you know, he's essentially, he didn't say sorry. He said, he said that, you know, he's learning. He's, he's, uh, he didn't mean to offend anybody. Him and his family are out here to cause peace, to get knowledge, blah, 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 blah. Don't believe the hype. Kyrie Irving didn't write that statement. Kyrie Irving allowed them to write a statement. He said, I don't disagree with that statement. You guys can put that statement out on my behalf. And Kyrie Irving did not pony up for half a million dollars. I, when the NBA wants to penalize a player and find them, they do it. They don't say, we're going to we're gonna pay you too. No, nope, they don't do that. When the NBA wants to find you, they find you. They find Draymond Green. When the NBA wants to suspend you, they suspend you. They suspend Umi Adoka. When the NBA wants to wave you, they wave you. They wave that, that kid in, in San Antonio who is showing himself to people. The NBA doesn't do that. They don't say, we'll give money and you give money too and let's do it together. No. The New Jersey Nets ponied up that entire million dollars by themselves. They said, we're going to give half a million on your behalf, half a million on our behalf. We want this thing to go away. We want people to stop talking about trying to get you out of the league. Because... These Jewish individuals were trying to run Kyrie out of the league. These sports commentators, these Jewish sports commentators wanted to run Kyrie out of the league, saying that he's not a great player anymore. He hasn't done anything great. The guy was averaging 30 points until he had his 2-12 and 12 shooting. He was averaging 30 points. But they're saying, oh, he's not a great player. He, oh, he, should, he should be waived. He should be cut. So the Nets said, listen, we've got to appease these Zionists. We've got to appease these, this Jewish community that wants blood right now. And we're gonna we're gonna put out this letter, and we're gonna give a half million dollars on your behalf, and a half million dollars from us. Why else would the Nets pony up for half a million dollars for themselves? What did the Nets do that they needed to give a half a million dollars to the ADL, to the Anti Defamation League? They should give half a million dollars to me. Give me a half million dollars because I'm offended. I'm hurt. I'm hurt on behalf of all marginalized communities. On behalf of all six foot seven black men with beards who have gray in it. I'm upset, and I need I need I need money. I need compensation. I'm gonna send a whole bunch of bearded black men to sit at, at um, to sit right there and wear t-shirts and say, you know what, we fight against anti-black black men with beard, gray racism. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Pay us some money. So anyway, they did what they had to do. They did that, they did the politically correct thing, and they ponied up a million dollars to do it, right? Say the, the whole Rudy Gobert thing. Rudy Gobert apparently gave the whole world uh, COVID-19 when he touched the microphone he ponied up for a few million dollars and said sorry all right Kyrie Irving don't believe the hype Kyrie didn't <laughs> Kyrie didn't agree to that, none of that they did that on Kyrie's behalf don't believe the hype but hopefully these guys get off his back because he didn't say anything didn't do anything out of his own mouth and hopefully these clowns get off his back now because this is ridiculous moving on the Lakers won last night don't believe the hype the Lakers didn't win that game last night that if you watch the game, if you actually study the game, watch the game, you'll see that the Lakers were up by approximately 16 points. They had an amazing uh, third quarter. They lost the first quarter, lost the second quarter, won the third quarter, lost the fourth quarter. Actually tied, I think, in the fourth quarter. No, they, I think they even lost the fourth quarter. And then they won in the overtime. The Lakers. Oh, my gosh. We're going the wrong way. They are a mess. Still a mess. And in their situation... Uh, in the last minute of that game, last few minutes of that game, Zion wasn't even scoring. Zion wasn't doing anything. Zion had about eight points. And they came, what they did is they came back. They stormed back, had the Lakers on the ropes. Lakers are down by three points. Jeez, brother, make a left-hand turn. Lakers are done by three points. And then Daniels is fouled. Daniels gets to shoot two shots. If he hits one of these shots, there's two seconds left. If he hits one shot, it's a wrap. 
It's a wrap. He misses both shots. LeBron gets a rebound, calls timeout in the air. They gotta, they gotta advance the ball. And this is, this is what's the most telling thing about this game. The most telling thing about this game because LeBron could have, could have, he could have won the game too earlier. He could have had this game locked up earlier. He didn't. He did the LeBron James thing. He folds in the, in the clutch. He folds all the time. Darwin Ham doesn't draw up a play for LeBron. He doesn't draw up a play for Russell Westbrook, who he benched for the entire fourth quarter and paying Patrick Beverly, who had zero points. Patrick Beverly had zero, zero points. He plays him the whole fourth quarter. Russell Westbrook has a double double. He doesn't play him. Doesn't play him. I don't know. Did Russell foul out? Like, I. That part I didn't see, but he doesn't play Russell Westbrook. He plays uh, this clown, Beverly, anyway. And 1.7, Darwin Ham draws up a play, not for LeBron James, but for some bench player. For Ryan, he draws up some, for who apparently he's a sniper. All of a sudden, the sniper comes out of somewhere. All of a sudden, the Lakers have a sniper. That guy's not a sniper. Anyway, he threw the, they throw the ball to this kid. He hits a, he hits a, a Hail Mary three-point shot to tie the game and they go into overtime and barely win the game. Like, they should have lost that game so many times in, in the regular in the regular season, they, in the regular time, in regular time. It's incredible. And remember, that's beating the Pelicans without Brandon Ingram. Remember, that's a Brandon Ingram-less Pelican team, so that's not even, that's not even a real Pelicans team. And still, they had no business losing to the Lakers. They should have beat the Lakers handily. That would have been, that's what should have happened, right? Zion Williamson has still never beat LeBron James as a pro. Very interesting. Very interesting. Never beat LeBron James as a pro. And uh, it's telling. Anyway, moving right along to the actual real news. The Raptors. The Raptors put it on San Antonio yesterday. My goodness. It was like playing against a college team. The Raptors put it on them. And again, looking at my formula, when you look at the Lakers, they had five guys in double digits. They won the game. Raptors, whew, same thing. I think we had like six or six players in double digits yesterday. It was a it was a rout. It was incredible. It was a rout. It was a fantastically coached. They came out. They jumped all over them. I told you guys that they're going to go on a run. They're, they're going on a run. They're slapping up the lower level teams of the of the NBA now. San Antonio. I don't know why Popovich doesn't retire and not mess up his record percentage by coaching that team. Like, what are you doing? Go enjoy your life, bro. Like, are you that addicted to basketball that you're going to coach this lousy college team? Like, the team is horrible. I'm so late today. The team is terrible. And I don't know why Greg Popovich is still there. Like, you just can't give up the reins, bro. Like, you, you, how could you go through the Tim Duncan era, the Manny Ginobili era, the Tony Parker era, the Kawhi Leonard era, and sit here in this era where you're the worst team in the NBA, basically? It's really bad. Like, I don't know why you would do that to yourself. Just retire. You want to die being a basketball coach? You got millions of dollars. Just retire, bro. You don't have anything else to do with your life? I guess you can't give it up. I don't know. Poor guy. But uh, the San Antonio Spurs are just like, they're the worst team in the NBA. They don't have anybody. They have no one. At least Orlando has that Sonny Vaccaro guy, but like, San Antonio has nobody. Like, there's nobody there. Teams, the best guy on the team is Yakov Pertl. That's the best basketball player on the San Antonio Spurs. Yakov Pertl. You're welcome. We gave you that guy. So, at the end of the day, it's a heck of a day in the NBA. What's going to be on the top of the news? They're still trying to figure out um, who's going to be the coach of the Brooklyn Nets. They're still going to see what the media response is to, to Kyrie Irving and the pretend gift to the ADL. And uh, we still got it. we're still on Malika Andrews' watch, right? She's, she's, I'm sure she's sitting around there with her little mind scheming, figuring out what she's gonna do and what she's gonna say. But, uh, you know, we're, we'll see, we'll see where, where, where it all rests. Which of course, we're gonna be talking about LeBron James today and the Lakers and how the Lakers are an amazing team all of a sudden because they beat the Pelicans, how it's redemption, how, how Darvin Ham is an amazing coach and he's drawing up incredible plays. When these guys gave up last night, that was a, that was, even Darvin Ham in his interview, he, he, he was shocked. All of them were shocked. They had no idea they'd be in that position. The Lakers are a mess. They are a mess. Russell Westbrook in, in, in the press conference had so much class. He just sat there and he just talked about keep grinding. Like, 
It's so stupid, the foolishness that they're doing with this guy. How could you actually sit Russell Westbrook, who was actually the reason they were winning? Russell was making dime passes to LeBron, to AD, making the right calls all night, all night. He's the best point guard on the team. He should be the point guard. He's a Hall of Famer, and you got to ride and die with your guy. And the reason they should have lost that game is because you got Patrick Beverly getting, getting minutes when he should be on the bench. He should be lost in the sauce on the bench. So Darvin Ham's an idiot, in my opinion. That play was the stupidest play you could possibly draw up. You draw up a play for a no-name guy when you have three Hall of Famers? Who does that? Who does that? He thinks he's Phil Jackson? You drew up a play for a no-name kid to shoot, to, to shoot a fadeaway miracle shot. through through That pass should have been picked off. I can't even believe it got through. It was, and they're like, that was a great call by coach. That was a great, that was a great plan by coach. Yeah, but LeBron, you're not getting the ball this time. AD, you're not getting the ball. Yeah, uh, Russell, you stay on the bench. You're not getting the ball. Who are you? What's your name? Yeah, yeah, we're going to pass the ball to you. What's your name again? Yeah, throw it to this guy. <laughs> you're telling me that's what they drew up? I, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine the faces when this guy drew that play up and said, yeah, we're going to give it to this guy and shoot the ball. We're going to give it to this guy. Wow. <sighs> Let's see what they got today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming through. Please subscribe, please share, please like, please comment. Wanna know what you guys got to say. I don't believe, I do not believe Kyrie Irving ponied up for half a million dollars. I don't think that's his money. I think the Nets ponied up that whole million and, and gave it on behalf of, the, of, of Kyrie Irving. I believe the, the Raptors are gonna be considered very quickly as the best team in the East, very, very quickly. Right soon after we put a slapping on Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee is what five and zero or six and zero right now. We always got those guys' number. Don't believe the hype. All right, and don't believe the hype of the Lakers. They really lost last night. That really that's not a real win. Pelicans should be ashamed of themselves. All right, that's it. We'll see what's going on. And we're on Malika Andrews' watch. We're still watching you, Malika. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. This is Del K. Burton, and this is the real spiel. And I'm out. And I ain't afraid of you ninjas.